everybody got an awesome follow along video for you today. We're gonna hit the core. So get in comfortable clothing and let's get ready to hit the core. This is gonna be an all plank workout. So you're gonna be on the, the elbows and the hands. So if you have any wrist issues, this may not be appropriate for you. I would say this is a moderate to more intense style of training. So if you're a just beginner, um, you can work on a few of these things, but I won't go through the entire circuit with me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through six different plank variations, and we're gonna do each plank variation for 30 seconds. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go through the six plank variations again. So all in total, including the rest period, it'll take six minutes and 30 seconds. It's going to wake up that core. This is a great uh, warm up um, circuit you could do to kind of engage the core, uh, make sure your body's proprioception is working well, or if you just want to use this for a core workout on its own, you can do that as well. All right, I'm done talking. It's time to get started. Just kind of follow along with me. I will guide you as we go. I'm going to set the timer now so we stay on track. One thing I do want to say, I've made videos about this before when you're planking, we really want to squeeze when we're in those positions and tuck the tailbone. Imagine you're a dog um, did something bad, you're scooping the tail between the legs. All right, here we go. We're going to start in a low plank position here. Squeeze the abs, so I'm just driving my elbows to my knees, my knees to my elbows, and like I said, I'm tucking kind of my tailbone there. You'll notice I'm not just sagging forward like this. I'm actively squeezing the entire time here. You may see me shake today. We want to breathe through our belly button. All right, second movement's going to be a high to low plank. So we're going to come out of this low position, come up onto our hands here. We want our hands to be stacked right on our shoulders. We're going to hold for five seconds and then back down. We're going to hold each position here for five seconds. As you come up, try to keep everything as square as possible. We have 10 seconds left. All right, next thing we'll do is we're going to stay in this low plank here. We're just going to raise one leg up. We want to squeeze the glutes as we rake that leg. Again, I'm still pulling my elbows towards my knees as I do this. I want, don't want you guys clasping your hands today. Try to keep them out. Keep the tension. Crowd to core. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to a high plank position and we're gonna do shoulder taps. So wind those feet out if you need to. We're just going to tap the shoulder here. We don't want to tilt side to side. We just want to try and keep everything as squared up as possible. Hold for a second. I will tell you guys, I did this video previously. I messed it up, so I am burning. This is my second time through it today. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to, some of you may need to drop to the knees at this point. We're going to do a bird dog variation, so reaching out in front of us and back. From the top, it would look like this. We're going to just reach out, kick back, try to stabilize for a second, and then back. You really want to kick back and reach forward here, trying not to tilt to either side. And we're going to go down. Last one, we're going to go uh, side to side here, so low plank. You're going to take your knee, your opposite knee, go down just like this. So almost like a mountain climber, but you're kind of dropping your hips and that knee towards the ground there. And I'm still pulling my elbows to my knees and my knees to my elbows. All right, we're going to get that much needed break. I think I'm already starting to break a sweat. Like I said, I went through this second time now, so I am burning. Uh, at any point, if you need a break, just go ahead, drop to the knees, go at your own pace, okay? We all don't have to do it the entire time. Um, some of you may be even doing this longer, doing it for a minute each exercise. That is fine, but if you're following along with this video, feel free to go at your own pace here, okay? All right, come back into it, low plank here, second time through. I'm going to squeeze, again, tuck the tailbone, 
pull those elbows down. If it's burning, it's supposed to. Uh, you should be feeling it by now. We got five seconds left. And relax, we're gonna go now uh, back up to the high plank here. And we're gonna go, excuse me, we're going high to low. So from the top, back down here. We're gonna continue to hold. I went a little quick there. I want you guys to hold a little bit longer, about five seconds in each position. Okay, from here, we're just going to go straight up with that foot, straight up and down. And you may be feeling this even in your triceps, I know I am, in my shoulders. That is why this is a good and kind of total body warm up. You can do this variation like we did in the first round from the elbows as well. All right, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up here, high push-up position. And we're gonna do those plank taps. Told you, I'm, I'm burning right now. To those bird dogs again if you need to go from the knees that's fine if not here we go we're going from, from the top and really hold each second you can see my fatigue starting to kick in try your best we got one more Okay, last one. Again, you're going to do those mountain climbers here from that plank. So get in that nice plank position and drop that leg out to the side. Almost done today. Fantastic job, everybody. You guys got me breaking a sweat. So that's the six minute plank workout. Perfect to do if you wanna just do it on your own for core exercises, or if you wanna do it as a total body warm up. That is all for today. Stay strong.